So this is the uh, first version of my, my bookshelf. Um, as you can see, it's um, an exercise that I um, did to make that the process of um, um, putting books on shelves a little bit uh, less tedious. And I used Marinette to um, try and randomly distribute books from, um, uh, from, from a simple folder inside of Vectorworks um, on shelves. Reason for this being that uh, um, Extra Group, my company, creates Interior CAD and we, um, we make parametric furniture that can be manufactured and cut this can be uh, generated but also um, uh, obviously our clients um, need to uh, produce photorealistic uh, presentations before they can before they get to the the step of actually producing and manufacturing their furniture so and and a lot of the time they have empty shelves so how could we make that process of uh, populating those shelves a little bit more a, a little bit less tedious um, and dull and Marinette um, is actually the, the tool of choice here. So the first project is this um, bookshelf, um, which, um, well, basically what it does is, um, as you can see in the info palette, um, you, um, um, I'll start from the top. This is the, these are the shelf dimensions. So you set the height, the width, and the depth. And, uh, Books that will be too tall for a given height, for example, will be filtered out, um, same for width, and obviously there won't be more books than the shelf can um, actually hold. Uh, you can choose to show the shelf cage, which will be um, just the um, just the wireframe of, of the shelf um, dimensions. So you can turn that off. And these are the book collections. They're hardwired right at the moment. You can, if you want to, you can actually add books um, to any of these uh, book folders, symbol folders, and these books, uh, once you add them, will uh, be incorporated into, into the marionette. Um, no need to do anything else. Make sure that the insertion point is the uh, top left, uh, the, the bottom left front corner, and then that should work. Um, you can't you can't actually um, add any, um, any of these um, book collections uh, by way of uh, adding new folders. You have to work inside of these folders and you can't rename these folders. Um, as I said, they're hardwired right at the moment. Um, so uh, the, the repeat um, uh, option will um, uh, do as it says. It'll, it'll repeat the list until the shelf is filled up. Um, you might want to deselect that if you have something like the Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, this is actually um, uh, something that will happen if the shelf dimensions don't support the books. So if there's no books to, to, uh, to be chosen from, you get this, um, this alert. Unfortunately, after, after that, you get a, a, a Minot uh, alert. Can't do anything about that. Um, so I'm just going to increase the height to, what have we got, um, 500, I think. And that should give us the Encyclopedia Britannica. Yes, here we are. So with uh, the um, EB having 24 volumes, you don't want to actually um, have these randomized. That's the, f that's the first um, option to get rid of. And you don't want them repeated because they stop at 24. And also you might not want stacks. So just set those to zero. Um, so that's your, um, that's actually 16 volumes. There's a, a, a sorting um, thing which I couldn't, um, I don't know how to actually uh, get around that. Maybe someone from the forum can, can help me. Um, it starts with 17 and in whichever way I sort this, um, it'll always start with 17 and then go from 1 to 23. Um, so I have no idea why it does that. Um, um, I tried to look it up on, on some Python forums but didn't really get anywhere uh, so maybe that's just a there's just a simple reason for that um, someone can help me with that maybe later on so this is um, this is the complete collection now um, it's actually giving me uh, 24 books which is uh, slightly odd I'll increase this to 1600 still 24 and still the 17 at the front but it's not going to go beyond 24 uh, unless I uh, hit repeat and then that's uh, 
hopefully gonna yeah and that's gonna um, just increase the number of books okay so I think you're pretty clear on what repeat and random does now um, then I have the um, stacks offset max and the stacks offset min that's obviously only if you have stacks so let's go back to different uh, book collection um, these are quite nice these are penguin books and actually I um, it took a long time to um, to find these um, and I tried to find old and used looking penguin covers and I really like the look of these um, these penguin um, spines and they, they come out really nicely in the rendering um, and they're actually the the texture for these is is a is a, a sprite so it's just one huge texture um, that I put on uh, that I mapped onto these these book uh, symbols so it should only you know come up as one renderworks texture instead of um, I think I have about 30 of these books um, so it's all the same texture with a different coordinate with different coordinates uh, right so back to the um, the uh, issue at hand it's the uh, penguin books and we want to have stacks so let's put in two stacks um, okay so here we have our stacks and you can see there's a um, they're slightly angled um, and they're also offset from the front so are the books by the way so let's uh, select this again and we have the uh, stacks rotation that's two degrees to minus two degrees um, and we have the stacks offset that that offset is uh, both the y so that meaning going into the depth of the shelf and the x running along the edge of the shelf uh, that's the same offset which I'm recycling for both um, types of offsets to um, save myself introducing yet another control in the info palette there's enough of those already and um, they can't really be sorted very well so I'm trying to minimize those um, okay so um, that's the the offsets then we have uh, different um, ways of tilting these books um, let's get rid of the stacks to have a clearer image of uh, how the tilting works um, okay and I'm also going to go back to 750 here um, that's all we need and I'm gonna just uh, going uh, just gonna show this from uh, straight on um, front view so that's the um, leaning right one which will start with an angled book and finish with an almost upright book the leaning right two will do the opposite it'll start with an, an almost upright book or even slightly it could even go even be leaning left a little bit uh, apparently um, and uh, then finish with a um, with an angled book uh, same for left I'm not going to show that you, you, you get the idea then I have the the mixed angles, which will just you know randomize um, each each of these books angles, um, and uh, that's um, uh, and then the uh, the leaning blocks right the leaning blocks um, they this will produce a sort of a, a random uh, number of kind of sheaves of sheaves of books that will lean in uh, they it'll keep the books together um, and uh, they lean in groups if you want. Um, the algorithm for this isn't particularly clever so if anyone feels inclined to improve on this you know just just uh, have a go um, I didn't really spend enough time on um, finding out how to um, make this look nicer uh, with uh, more evenly um, sized uh, chunks of books um, this is this is pretty pretty random with some you know um, uh, large differences in, in how many books are in each chunk so okay maybe maybe that can be improved on so um, the gap will only um, apply if you have uh, 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 tilting set to none and then you can have a gap between the books um, I can't get rid of the I can't actually hide these um, they should be from a user interface uh, point of view they should be they should be hidden um, when uh, they don't apply like for the the first six options here but I can't do that with Marinette apparently yet maybe one day uh, so that'll just give me um, a, a, a maximum and a minimum uh, gap leave a minimum to zero if you want to so that will just randomize the gaps between the books 
And that's about it. Well, um, play around with it. Um, add your own books. Um, uh, there's a tool for the, for that. Actually, it's called a uh, box shot. Um, when I when I finished with uh, um, w with the Penguin books, I I realised that it's just a, a tremendous amount of work to create these books, and I downloaded a, a, an app called uh, Boxshot, which is available for Mac and PC, and you can just uh, drag and drop uh, textures uh, onto books and and uh, and bags and wrappers of of all of all sorts. And it'll UV map the uh, the texture to the objects, and then export as uh, as an OBJ, which you, as you know, can import into Vectorworks, and that'll uh, make your life a lot easier. And that's also the reason why some of the books, um, like like these, are um, actually modelled in Vectorworks, and other books um, are um, polygonal. Like if you go to the um, antique books these are all imported and then some some textures mapped onto them but you they're fairly detailed so it's I I quite like it I, I d didn't find it slowing down my um, my computer um, and look at the detail I mean that's really quite nice uh, so I think it's worth it especially for rendering so this is the uh, rendered um, result um, where I used these books this is the first version of the books no stacks um, the stacks were introduced um, a bit later after I'd finished that rendering. Um, the stacks you see at the top of the shelf on the left uh, were done manually and actually that showed me um, how efficient that Marionette node is um, because putting those books in manually is a lot of work. Um, but, um, but there you go. Um, there's actually a night scene as well which I did uh, just for fun. So um, if you're watching this video from the Marionette forum you can download the, um, the books um, from the link below and uh, well um, have fun playing with it uh, any comments uh, any comments welcome of course thank you